Yo, I'm Roddy Piper. Thanks for watching Terra Prime. He's my sensei. You're not. Greetings, Sabrites. Mom is here. Uh, just to further the conversation on long weapons in Sabre, we've been uh, playing with a couple of uh, different uh, configurations using the Yari extensions um, and uh, found some interesting things. So, like I covered in the other video, the staff doesn't really operate like a staff, a, a double bladed lightsaber, because it's you essentially just have, you don't have that much more reach because you can't grab onto the end. So the first thing we did, or I did, um, was uh, take just a regular saber and make it a long handled one, shorten the blade here a little bit, brings it up to about here, there. This is about the configuration for a Chinese poodle, uh, short handled uh, horse knife, as they call it. Um, usually has a ring pommel or something like that. Um, there are longer ones, but we'll get into that. Um, and so this, as you can uh, see here, um, <clears throat> operates a little bit more like a staff. You can maneuver around, back and forth, going here, cutting kind of as easily as we are you know, swinging around like this. So using grips, changing grips, that's something that can be done with the long handled one. So, here's the kind of first permutation of it. Okay, <clears throat> so for the second permutation, we just lengthen that handle here a little bit more. And uh, this brings it to about the right height as a regular stick, right? And although you can only really use one end to uh, cut with and, and grab onto, you are still able to go all the way out here. And as we see, we get quite a bit of reach there. Now we can start entertaining some more long weapon strategies like spear techniques, parrying at the long, at the long reach, thrusting at a very, very long amplitude, that kind of thing. <clears throat> um, also, we can shorten our grip on this to give ourselves lots of leverage for powerful cuts at short range. Okay? This operates very much like Guandal and uh, Nagamata, that kind of, or Naginata, <clears throat> I guess I'm not very up on my Japanese weapon pronunciation, I assume. Um, so uh, that's the second way. Um, this one is, is approaching closer to traditional staff type of technique, so uh, there you go. Um, next up, we have the closest thing I found. So, okay. Here we have what I have named my the Vermothrax, a uh, true kind of staffish weapon. Um, with the very short blades on the other end, you can, if you kind of annoy, uh, ignore the fact that you'd be uh, burning your uh, cobalt, get some thrusting out of it. Right? But because of the length of the hilt, you can actually start getting more honest to goodness staff rotations out of it, changes in length of the of the lever that you're using, right? And of course, you've got these. Now here, using spear techniques, going to be coming in very handy, okay? <clears throat> Being able to manipulate the blade here, thrust like that. You can be off mark with. Uh, a lightsaber, you don't have to be right behind it because well, it'll just do it a little bit more big cut. So we don't really have to worry about that. Now the one caveat to all of this is of course we must, as I said earlier, assume that the hilt is somehow lightsaber proof or lightsaber resistant. Um, Cortosis and, and all that kind of thing. Um, Mandalorian armor, uh, Beskar, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so you ha do have to make that kind of conceit, um, but I think it's a relatively easy conceit to make, especially in light of the cross guard. Um, so there we have it, 
on long weapons with sabering. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Happy sabering.